We are about to present you the analysis of the quality of the Croatian football. The current state is displayed as a precondition for defining the direction it should go forward. The basic concept is the structure analysis of the process and stakeholders related to the Croatian Football Federation, emphasizing European examples of good practice and recommendations for its improvement. The structure of this presentation shows how the good management of the Federation should look like. The Federation is the central part of functioning around which stakeholders should be involved in decision-making processes that respect their needs. Based on this issue, Hajduk has made an analysis of the management of the Croatian football, a policy brief and the presentation through which we will briefly present the discussed issues. As a benchmark for assessing the current state, Hajduk used the document EK, Principles of Good Governance in Sport. International stakeholders, FIFA and UEFA, consistently with the mentioned document, are implementing reforms such as transparency, strategic management, mandate restraint and others. UEFA President Alexander Ceferin in his every statement emphasizes the importance of fans, young people and volunteers. They are the basis of establishing a successful professional sport. One of the key stakeholders is the Central State Sport Office that has conducted several activities and showed how it can act proactively. A national sports strategy and a new sports law are currently to be defined. A series of activities have also been made regarding the existing sports law. Some amendments have been adopted to which the Federation has adjusted recently, but it didn't lead to changes in its functioning. In order to illustrate the Federation's management system, we used 10 points from the document Principles of Good Governance in Sport. A clearly defined strategy gives us the confidence in defining our directions, what our potential is and how to use all of them. If there is no strategy, it is difficult to expect that the system can be developed with good quality. An example is Germany which after the defeat of Croatia in 1998 started a comprehensive analysis for the purpose of drafting the strategy and since then, for example, it has built over 120 new football fields. The important point for the strategy to be successful in quality management in sport is the presence of clearly defined rights and goals and measuring and monitoring the realization of the same. In Croatia, there are not strategic documents available to the public not even to mention preliminary analysis as a precondition for the creation of a quality strategy. The Federation has created only one document that mentions its professional goals. It is the statute. On the Federation website cannot be found documents such as a strategic, financial or business plan, or a strategy itself. The absence of these documents indicates a serious lack of strategic thinking, or a lack of understanding of the role of such documents in creating a creative and inclusive environment in order to develop football. Creating and publishing these documents should be the first step in improving football. The Federation doesn't meet any recommendation of the EU documents regarding strategic management. The Code of Ethics is one of the most important preconditions for a quality management system. The Federation doesn't respect the existing code, as it can be seen above. There is also no an independent body to implement the code's guidelines. The code also contains a point about political neutrality, that is, no interference of the politics in sport. In the Federation, the same is not respected, because at the time of this presentation, five of the eleven members of the Federation Executive Committee are also members of one political party. The statute defines the members of the Federation and thus determines its structure. The members of the Federation are the 20 county football federations, the Zagreb Football Federation, the Football Federations of Cities and Football Clubs. Unlike the county football federations that are direct members, football clubs are intermediate members and they have less rights. According to the document Principles of Good Governance in Sport, the Federation didn't meet most of the recommendations. Here we have presented the structure of the Federation's work bodies, from which it is impossible to see the division of work tasks within the Federation, and it shows the closeness of the system.
In 2016, the Federation had over 200 million kuna of revenue. Unfortunately, it is unclear where and how the funds are spent, since the financial items are not clearly explained. Although the Federation claims that football is not funded by the state budget, it is important to emphasize the fact that part of the funds comes from the state budget through county federations, and in some cases even over 80%. A well-established professional league results in a better development of players, clubs and representation, and it allows the system to achieve its maximum. In Croatia, there is no first league association that would be independent from the federation and that would stand up for the rights of clubs when negotiating for TV rights. Only Denmark has no independent association, while Croatia has the same system as Andorra, Armenia, Belarus and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hajduk has repeatedly offered some suggestions how to improve the league's quality, restoring the competency to the First League Association, reviewing the licensing commission's decision and denying the license to the football club Lokomotiva, reorganizing the judges' organization, revising documents such as statute, rules of procedure and other federation rules in a democratic and professional way, are just some of Hajduk's suggestions that the federation has never observed, although we have asked for a meeting several times. As we have underlined, the broad base is extremely important for the football to give its maximum. With fostering health and sport spirit, a broad base is a nursery of talented children for what we need the support of other systems, such as the education one. Unfortunately, nobody deals with this topic in a systematic way, and it is the only one that guarantees a sustainable and quality football system. Local and regional self-government units as stakeholders, play an important role, especially in amateur sports. They should be a key partner in developing infrastructure and encouraging citizens to engage in physical activity. The example of good practice is our one, where we have helped local self-government units to respond to the European Union's announcement for funding the building of sports infrastructure. Unfortunately, the Federation hasn't shown such an initiative. Whenever a judicial organization is in focus, it is never good. Unfortunately, in Croatia we have the affair, fair trial and offside that have shown us that we need complete reform and good quality internal investigations. The professional skills of the staff in Croatian football is at a low level unlike to its potential. In Croatia we have a total of 13 sports psychologists in all branches of sport. From the state level so far, it's not seen a need to involve the academic community in a professional education in order to develop a quality person and a professional out of a talented and gifted player. FIFA and UEFA increasingly recognize and encourage supporters to involve more in football by giving more content and quality. As the examples stand out the associations, Football Supporters of Europe and Supporters Direct. In the Federation, the situation is somewhat different. Supporters have no influence, they are completely excluded, and almost all of their actions are negatively marked. There has never been made an analysis of the cause of the supporters' activity. In Croatia, the two strongest supporting groups are together on the same stand, which indicates that the causes of the behavior of supporters are not like those often presented by the media. Their work has resulted in associations that are active in the management of their football clubs. One of the biggest protests since the proclamation of Croatian independence occurred in Split on November 29 in 2014. Its purpose was to indicate anomalies in Croatian football and motivate supporters to fellowship. Our Hajduk is the third largest association in Croatia, which shows its strength. Its transparent way of functioning reveals the results of the supportive and civic activism. The association Together for Dinamo is also an example of supportive activism that has been systematically marginalized, and it unfortunately hasn't developed to the full. The Federation has closed policy towards the media and doesn't respond to data access inquiries. In that way, it shows a disrespect to the public and proves that the system is pretty inscrutable. The question is, why they are hiding from the public? Educational and scientific institutions don't recognize the Federation as stakeholders, which indicates the closeness and non-invention of the system. The Federation should invite as many stakeholders in horizontal and inclusive mode of action. Young people are an important stakeholder, 
whose involvement can be ensured through the education system. Clearly defined procedures for attracting young and qualified professionals and administrative staff are needed. There are almost no young people or women in the federation structures. Sport is the first example of the society that should open space for people with disabilities and do everything to evolve them in coexistence at all levels. Unfortunately, the Federation hasn't mapped people with disabilities as one of the stakeholders. In the end, end users are those that we exist for. If the society is well established, end users have multiple benefits and thus the whole society as well. Later on, we will show the detected problems and give some recommendations for their solutions. When talking about transparent decision-making and the responsibility of executive functions, the problem is that the sport inspection doesn't have the determination to make decisions. The solution is the introduction of the Code of Ethics and the regulation of obstacles in the performance of the law of sports. The executive committee has 17 members and a large number of defined functions, for which it is unknown who is responsible. It is required a clear definition of functions by number of members and by the requirement of functions. Regarding the transparency of the financial statements, the Federation by 2016 didn't publish any and in the current it is unclear how the funds are being spent. It is necessary to publicly publish a detailed financial report that is communicated with all the members of the Federation. Considering that some county federations base their budget on state funds, it is necessary to reconsider the distribution of funds, to make publicly available data on the percentage of state money that gets into the system, and point non-financial contribution of the local community. Disciplinary bodies of the Federation don't publish decisions at any level, and their processes take too long. The solution is to publish decisions on official sites and to prescribe shorter deadlines. The licensing process is a big problem because there is no quality financial revision system. An example can be seen in several clubs that ended up in bankruptcy while playing in the first league. It is necessary to conduct the pre-licensing procedure and to deny the license when the conditions are not met. Closure of the system is seen through the non-involvement of stakeholders in creating the Federation content and circulating of the same people in different positions. It is necessary to consult with stakeholders and limit the possibility of circulation. By non-existence of the First League Association, Novum protects the interests of the clubs and the league loses a marketing battle with similar sized leagues. The solution is the establishment of the First League Association and the negotiation for a new TV rights contract. The existence of two federation bodies makes confusion and it leads to the mixture of jurisdiction. The solution is the joining of the body in the Federation Arbitration Court, which will also enable financial savings. The closeness of judges' organization leads to the distrust in process of football trial. In order to ensure an independent, accurate and professional trial, it is necessary to introduce judges' evaluation and to bring independent controllers. Most of the sports infrastructure doesn't meet the basic criteria, which results in an exceptionally long winter break. The Federation should directly finance infrastructure construction with the help of hat-trick programs like the Macedonian Federation or Serbian one. One of the ways is to support the involvement of local and regional self-government units. In conclusion, we point out the basic problems in the functioning of the Federation system, which are obstacles to the development of football, and we suggest solutions. Problems are the lack of strategy, lack of ethnics, lack of attention and stakeholder exclusion, lack of comprehensiveness, inequality, poor management, stakeholder inequality, inadequate legal and regulatory framework, irresponsibility and non-transparency. If these principles and solutions are applied, it is guaranteed that there will be a system that will better and faster exploit the potential of Croatian football. It will also inevitably have benefits to the other systems and society in general.